Prevention and therapy of osteoporosis is one of Dr. Meredith Morgan's specialties. Dr. Morgan offers some suggestions that could help prevent this disease. If a woman's normal, uh, a healthy lifestyle should be adequate. The question about diet, nutrition, and exercise, part of life would be an active lifestyle. Weight-bearing exercise, say five times a week for 30 minutes, is good for cardiovascular, and it's good for the bones. So walking is great. So if a person can do that, that's the ideal for the bone health. Therapy is indicated on a risk factor. If there's been a fracture, it's obvious the disease exists. If there has not been a fracture, but the absolute risk projects to over 20% for a major fracture of the spine, arm, wrist, or a 3% 10-year risk of the hip, then drug therapy is indicated. Dr. Morgan can adjust his treatment depending on his patient's lifestyle. There are basically two groups of first-line therapy the bisphosphonates, to use a big chemical phrase, and demonzomab, which is a type of immune therapy. These have been proven to be effective and significantly reduce the risk of fracture. Highly, highly preferred to obtain our calcium in the diet. Just make it really short and easy, about 1,200 milligrams of calcium a day. In terms of nutrition, this is very serious. There is controversy, but there's enough evidence to indicate that a person who tries to treat osteoporosis only with calcium supplements or calcium and vitamin D supplements may have an associated 30% higher risk of having a coronary event, a heart attack. It's mainly theory as to why this would happen and there are some people that don't believe it would happen, but in terms of the alternative managements of the disease or the high risk, we're talking about nutrition, supplements, in a reasonable dosage and the lifestyle of exercise and fall prevention.